Right. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. And it's a great pleasure to give a talk here, especially talking about something in cosmology in an institute named after Galileo Galilei. Right. And so cosmology correlators are uh, spatial uh, are, are, are spatial correlation functions at late time universe that one can uh, study and measure, for example, detecting the uh, cosmic and microwave background to study the history of uh, the universe, like what happens in the early universe or even ultimately what, what, what is the origin of the universe. Okay, and in this talk, I'm gonna uh, talk about uh, some uh, analytic structures of these cosmology correlators on some uh, toy models of quantum, quantum mechanic theories in the FRW, uh, FRW cosmology. And especially I'm going to give a simple uh, give a simple recursion relations on the symbols of these uh, cosmology correlators, uh, which can be used to uh, uplift these symbols into functions. All right. So, so the toy model here I'm considering is say consider this uh, conformally coupled scalar field in the general FRW cosmology with this factor uh, a squared eta of uh, which expand in power series of these uh, conformal time where epsilon take different values in different uh, expansion background, for example, the uh, decitor flat or radiation matter uh, dominant uh, universe. And also the uh, FRW, the, 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 the scalar model with uh, non-conformal polynomial interactions in this uh, D plus one dimensional space time. And First, and when we are in the flat space, the, the cosmology correlators then becomes the functions of uh, these energies with uh, only simple poles. So let me just make clear about the notation here. So here for each x is corresponding to the uh, sum of the external energies on at each uh, interaction vertices. And the uh, variable capital Y denotes the energy that going through each propagator in the Feynman diagram. And, oh, sorry. And in general, I, I would also label the, these uh, diagrams by the numbers of intersection, the, the number of interaction vertices and call it site. For example, this is then the two side, in, two side function as well. And this is the uh, three side function. And in general, for the uh, endpoint tree level, uh, uh, yes, yes. Sorry. Uh. Oh oh oh. Yes yes it's it's after the Fermat Fermat transition of the uh, Fermat integral on these cosmology correlators, so it becomes linear. After after integral over the uh, cost, uh, conformal time, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, and in general, for uh, any endpoint tree level uh, flat space cosmology correlators, uh, the general formula is studied by Nima Kenihaven, Paulo Benicasa, and Alexander Posnikov. And here, uh, here's some notation to set up. So uh, each, each pulse in the rational functions is corresponding to say a circle uh, circling around some, uh, some, some sub sub continuous subsections of the whole graph. And uh, note, note that here I have uh, oh, uh, neglected all the all these upper boundaries and only fix on to this interaction uh, part for, for, for convenience. And then each poke uh, corresponding to such a tube uh, equals to sum of all the uh, energies that are going in, external, all, all the external energies that are going in and the energies that are on, on the propagators that are going through the, this tube. So for here, for this uh, three site function, three site diagram, there are then you know, uh, these six possible uh, poles or possible tubes. And then the complete tubing 
then corresponds to a combination of these uh, tubes, which are not intersecting. So for here, for this uh, three side function, one can have two possible tubings, saying that you can, you can see there are two tubings. There are only two tubings that are intersecting. So only these two are not allowed to appear together. So therefore there are only two possible tubings, say one of these two along with the rest of four tubes. So it contributes to the final uh, flat space uh, correlator in these two terms. So this is the general rule to get the uh, cosmological correlators in the flat space. And let me uh, strengthen two important properties of these uh, correlators that will be uh, useful later. So first of all, one can see that uh, when we go to the pole at total energy, then the uh, then, then the then the energy conservation is yeah, is is uh, preserved. So one should expect that these correlators will go back to the normal flat space amplitudes, and this indeed what this is indeed what happens. And for example, one can see this two side case, and uh, and for 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 this two side case, the the original correlator has these three factors corresponding to these three uh, possible tubes, and when one gets to the residue on this uh, total energy, uh, then the function becomes such uh, one over the difference of their square, so which which equals to the uh, one over s as as as, which, as normal as the normal uh, flat space amplitudes. And the other property is that so here we have uh, look at the poles at the total energy, and we can also consider the poles at the energies of some subsections of this uh, of this graph. For example, we consider the residue on this uh, left sub correlators. Say taking the residue on S L to zero, then one can see that the final correlation function got factorized into the the flat space correlator got factorized into amplitudes of yeah, into amplitudes of the left part. That 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 with, with the energy conservation, and also pairs of uh, correlators in the, corresponding to the right graph, with shifted different shifted external energy. So, these are the two important uh, properties of these uh, flat space correlator. And yeah, so just keep in mind, and I'll take use of it. Now let's go to the general uh, FRW general correlators in the FRW uh, cosmology. So uh, still, still using this, that, that old fashioned uh, perturbation theory, one can see that the uh, correlators in this FRW cosmology then, equal, then equals to the, an integral with such a, a multi-valued factor on the flat space, uh, flat space correlator with shifted uh, uh, total energy by this integrated variable small x. And in general, this uh, function is hard to uh, directly directly integrate to functions. And therefore, one has to use some techniques. One technique is uh, uh, used by these people, which is using the studying the differential equations in, the, in these kinematic variables of capital X and capital Y. And this technique needs one, in the end, to compute a basis of four to n minus one functions for, for, for an insight uh, graph, so which is in the end, a bit cumbersome to, which is uh, possible to go to any tree level uh, correlator, but a bit cumbersome when you go to higher point. So here, I'm going to study these integrals from, from symbols of these uh, correlators. And for, for people uh, familiar with symbols, I will just, uh, I'll just uh, spell alert, say, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, derive the symbols from the first entry saying uh, to study the branch point and discontinuities associated with these integrals. And hopefully one can use this symbol to get the final functions of this integral. Mm -hmm. Yes, at tree level. But there are very parallel story at at least the loop integrand of the correlators at loop level. So I, I will just mention a little bit in the end. Okay. So first of all, let me just briefly this uh, briefly intro. Sorry. 
Yes, with, with some non conformal interactions, yeah, higher interactions. So, first of all, uh, uh, multi poly logarithm is just a recursive uh, integrals on uh, recursive integrals on uh, on, on these uh, rational uh, differential forms. And these uh, multiple poly logarithms can be studied by using symbols, which was uh, uh, firstly uh, introduced in the physics literature by uh, by uh, uh, Sasha Gontrov, Marx Berlin, Christian Vergu, and Anastasia Volovich to simplify the uh, two point two loop six point MHV amplitudes from from sixty page into uh, a few lines, like a two three lines. Yeah. So we, this so so it will be a very uh, useful technique to re, to to study these functions, and in in details. These symbols encode the monodromy and the differential structure of these uh, multiple polylogs. Seeing that, for example, if I have a function g, and the, the differential equals to the log of some factor phi with so the, the derivative f, the capital F, so then the so this phi contributes to the final entry of the symbol. And reversely, if I have if this uh, g has some branch point at the function uh, small phi, which equals uh, with, with the uh, discontinuity equals to this capital F, then the small phi contributes to the first entry of the symbol and thus other uh, branch points. So, so why uh, I introduce these multiple polylogs and, and these symbol techniques? That's because, let, let's go back to this uh, general integrals in this alpha w cosmology. When we perform expansion on these epsilons, which becomes a bunch of logs, and since these uh, differential forms uh, at flat space as the correlators in flat space time is some rational differential forms, then this integral is exactly uh, in epsilon invention is some uh, multiple polylogs. And also the uh, differential, by the way, the, the differential equation techniques that I mentioned before is just constructing these symbols of the integrals from the last entries. But in this talk, I'm going to do it reversely. So I'm going to construct the symbols of these integrals from the first entry, say, to find their branch point and to compute uh, their the, the, the discontinuities around each branch point. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Questions so far? Okay. So let's uh, remove back to the simplest case the general two-side uh, functions on FRW cosmology. So where there is uh, the, the, the uh, non-single valued uh, factor here and the uh, differential form corresponding to the flat space uh, correlator. Now know that here I have added one numerator wise so that it, is, it has, uh, uh, it, its leading singularity is just one. And since the only kinematic dependence in this integral lies in the poles of these integrals. So the branch point only happens when the end point of the integral uh, intersects with the poles of this integrand. And also the discontinuities around this branch point are thus the residuals of the integrand on these poles. Okay. So for example, let's firstly consider uh, this pole in the integrand which is uh, colored red here. So then the discontinuity of this capital psi on x1 plus x2 is just the uh, same integrand on the residue of this on the residue of this pole, which is I denoted by psi bar here, which means just the uh, integral. Note, note that the integral over the residue of uh, total energy. And note that for the when when we take residues of the integrand on total energy, it it, it, it go back to the, the integrand go back to the normal flat, flat space amplitude. So this is just say an integral over this uh, flat space amplitude. And also we can consider the poles of the integrand on the second factor, say on, on this subset, so on the total energy around subset of the graphs, which is X1 plus the total energy X1 plus the energy along this propagator. And remind that in the previous section, the 
factor the 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 pole, the, the residue of the integrand on this uh, uh on the on the summation of subset of these energies get factorized into a integral on this flat space amplitude and the general and a general uh and the general uh, flat space correlator with shifted energy so the the factorization of the integrand implies the factorization of the whole amplitude and then which in conclude that the discontinuity on this integral get factorized into two parts and similarly one can also get the discontinuity on the on this uh, third uh, third uh, on the third denominator with just exchanging the two uh, point in uh, point indices so in the end this is the just the full recursion relation or the full symbol of this general uh, integral on the FRW cosmology. And know that here, um, not, there, there are not only one term in the, uh, in the symbol. So it's just a symbol of the general phi bar integral, which can have any weights. And so this recursion relation is saying that, uh, say for, for a general uh, FRW correlator, it can be, the symbol can be expressed in a correlator of lower point, as well as a correlator as the integral on the flat space amplitude. So in other words, they're saying that the symbol of higher point correlator can be expressed in terms of lower point correlator and the lower point integrals on this uh, on flat space amplitude. So this recursion relation is not still not complete. One has to still study the symbol, how, how to write down the symbol of this uh, lower point symbol of this integral on lower point amplitudes. Okay. So, so, so this is the general formula when we take the residue on the total energy. So, it, so uh, when, when we, as, as we take the x1 plus x2 to zero, then this factor gets into such a non-trivial one. And also the two, uh, uh, and also the residuals as the, uh, shift energy shifted correlate one point correlator. And one can then factor out this total energy uh, x1 plus x2 into the, uh, into the outside of the integral. And then the integral got factorized again, which includes a power function and such a general integral where again, on the, all the kinematic dependence only lives in the uh, rational part of the integral. So for, for this power function, the 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 symbol is just the the symbol just include itself so which contributes to the first term of the symbol and for this general integral again the branch point only happens when the ending points uh, intersect with the poles of the of, of, of with, with the pole so gives the these two terms and note that here we are integrating over the flat space amplitude so the pole on flat space amplitude is just say lower point flat space amplitude. So the discontinuity is just as given here, the, sorry, this should be a bit, bit, bit times here. It's just given here as the multiplication of integral on two uh, flat space amplitudes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, integral, the, say the integral on the flat space amplitudes. You mean which one? Uh, just by redef redefinition of the variable. Uh, because here we only need to deal with such one type, then yeah, so it's like a it's just a straightforward factor. I I don't know if you are talking about some more complicated case. Uh, sorry, sorry, still, still didn't get your uh, question. Uh huh.
Oh, you mean maybe some something non nonlinear or? Uh, then I I I I haven't studied that case yet. Uh huh. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, sure, sure. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, this should be X one. Yeah, sure. Sir. Yeah. 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 Because. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, yeah. Here, I, I actually wants to just get rid of all the kinematic dependence in this uh, multi-valued factor, since it will become a bit complicated when we want to analyze the the, the singularity structures of or, or the, the the original function here. Yes, 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 exactly. Well, I don't think, well, well, I, I'm not sure if Aaron Hillman has this, has this page, but he has, but he indeed has the, the previous page. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but, but I think this one is not in his. Yeah, yeah, even, even for absolute equal zero, this one, I don't, I, I, I don't think so. Yeah. I I I I will I will show something that will. No, no, no. I think in this other case, he, he yeah. If I remember correctly, in this other case, he only have have did, did this. I, I will show something that may, you you might seem yeah that might seems for me more familiar. So yeah, so this is a general yeah. So this is the general recursion relation of say a general tree graph, and so. First of all, one can have say a tubing, a, a tube, sorry, a tube G of just say a connected section, subsection of the tree level diagram. And this graph G just just contribute to such a, a first entry in a symbol. And then the integrand again got factorized into a integral on this uh, flat space amplitude. And the integral on this uh, on each of the of these subsectors that got disconnected by this factorization, and then each subsector is now as well a, a smaller point uh, as well a correlation function with smaller points with with this uh, shifted energy. And when we just take the epsilon to zero case, uh, this recursion relation is exactly what uh, appeared in paper by Aaron Hillman in twenty nineteen. So, in, in in one words, this recursion is giving say the symbol of a higher point correlation functions to lower point correlation functions, as well as the lower point integral on flat space amplitudes. And then, to compute the uh, symbol of this psi bar the, as the integration on flat space amplitude, we can just think of just go to the pole of this flat in the integrand, which is the pole of the, just the flat space amplitude, according to this factorization on this, on, on any cut, on, on, on the cut on any propagators. And the first entry is just, just gives either the left blob or the right blob of the, the, the energy. And then the rest, this continuity part is just, again, the factorized uh, into, integral on, the two sectors of uh, flat space amplitudes. Okay. Yeah, just mean that this part, I don't think he, he, he has. So these are some examples of, 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 two, of, of uh, this tree level diagram. Say for a two side function, we won't have this uh, order epsilon zero that we read two symbols and as well as with three symbols, and and for for higher side, I have tried to include it in the slides, but it's too too long. So so then then, then I give up. But yeah, if you are interested, I can show you later. And then so so far, I have just talked about 
the story on tree level cosmological correlators, but we can have a very parallel story on, on loops. And for here, for any loop level uh, correlators, one can express as the integral on this uh, loop momentum y times the Jacobi times the Jacobian, and with such a uh, integral similar to the tree level case, and uh, today, I will only talk about this uh, purple stuff, which is the loop integrand, because this Jacobian, as the Jacobian from, from, from these y variables to the actual loop momentum is, in general, very, very, very ugly and annoying. So it, it corresponds to some higher order functions. So we, we still don't know how to deal with it. And I will only, and here, I only talk about this uh, loop integrand. And in general, Sorry. And in general, the, the same thing happens. So for this loop integrand, the poles only have to, the, the poles only appears in the total energy as x1 plus x2, or the energies of some of some tubings uh, of the graph. And the and again for the for the poles around total energy for the poles on total energy, uh, the, it gives the integral on the flat space amplitudes. And for the poles around the uh, the energies around some some tubes it got factorized again into flat space amplitude and some uh, and the flat space uh, correlators and so this is the uh, general result of the uh, leading order symbols of the uh, of this two side bubble integrand and here is the yeah subleading symbol Okay, so so far I have talked about the uh, how to derive the symbols of these uh, cosmological correlators, and here the one of the advantage of the recursive linear here is we only have two types of functions to evaluate, so which makes the the, the recursion much easier than if we want than than the differential equation, where from differential equation we have much more uh, functions to evaluate, and now it's it's then a mission to uh, integrate these symbols into functions. And normally, if these symbols are always linear, there is just at least a algorith algorithmic approach to just derive functions from these symbols. But by observation, we can see that these integrals can actually, after, after this uh, absolute expansion, can be directly integrated into some control uh, integrals. For example, in this epsilon to zero limit, one can always represent these cosmological correlators into the Gontroff iterative integrals. So for example, in this uh, two-dimensional uh, DS uh, uh, metric, which corresponds to the epsilon to zero limit, one can firstly do the, uh, just do partial diffraction, and where each, then, then each term contains only two factors. And for example, if we prefer the term with this x1 plus capital X1, x1 plus y and this total energy factor, then yeah, it just a direct, it directly corresponds to the control function with first here. And for other terms, it's similarly. But note that here the uh, final entry is infinity. So every single function here is, is, is divergent, but these divergence can cancel between these, uh, cancel between these different, these different fun functions. And in order to get, say, a fully well, def fully well defined uh, result without these seemingly weird, seemingly divergent functions, we only have to do some regularizations between these functions, and and and, and it's it's not really hard. And similarly, for FRW cosmology, say for so for the the absolute finite case. Since these integrals appearing in the cosmology correlators are finite, and we can just perform the epsilon expansion inside the integrand. So this is a very good news since uh, compared to Feynman integral because. Uh, but here we are just uh, thinking about some, some, some general, say, say general values on, on, on for epsilon to Yeah, 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 but well, we, 
I just to say um, for 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 other say for other absolute equal integers, it it is some somewhat hard to 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 evaluate this integral. So it will might it might be helpful to to take this limit and see what singularity structures are, are there. Zero for this area is zero, yeah. Yeah, for for say for 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 fixed point for fixed integer value of epsilon, yeah, sure we we can always uh perform perform it itself like directly. I think not not really hard to integrate it directly. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, just say we if we are living in a cosmology, not exactly the, the sitter space time, then when, when doing this epsilon expansion, we can also again directly compute these integrals by just repeating the entries in these control functions. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are some some package on Mathematica by 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 some physicists and mathematics that developed. Yeah. Sorry. sorry? You mean this infinity? You mean this infinity? Yeah, yeah, still cancel because, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, for example, I, I, I guess you mean like, like just take lambda here and take lambda to some large value in this numerical evaluation and it doesn't, it, it in the end converge? Yeah, yes, it, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, the final. Uh, well, yeah, because, well, well, because these G functions just di directly comes from the partial diffractions of the integrand. So, so, yeah, so, so since the, the, the whole integral is Finite than the yeah than the regular. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but you see you Okay, so yeah, in general, this this procedure can be accomplished algorithmically to to any point tree level functions to any epsilon order, and so far we have just checked up to two side function at uh, order epsilon to the fourth. Uh, three side at, at, at epsilon cube and the four side at epsilon square. And yeah, the reason I just don't continue is just because it takes longer and longer to numerically evaluate these functions. And yeah, and if you're interested, yeah, I, I can show you and by, by run it for, run, run each function for about like five, six or 10 minutes. And these functions uh, that I have checked uh, correctly produce the numerical value comparing with just with the direct integral on these uh, uh, cosmology correlators. And also it uh, cr correctly produced the symbol that I, I shown above. So, so this uh, uh, make sure that the correctness of all the derivations above. But there is still some question remain, for example, say, is there still any space to simplify these results from some identities of multiple polylogs? As you know, that there are still many Highly non-trivial identities of these uh, polylogs that 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 probably can be used to simplify the result, and hopefully can can we get say uh, see again the, the 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 miracle of the simplification of these uh, six point MHV two loop amplitudes that re reduce from seventy pages to a few lines, yeah. And for example, maybe a more ambitious question is say, can we just try to represent this result by some Special types of uh, multiple polylog that are already already studied by the mathematicians, for example, the cluster polylogs and and so on. And we, we still don't have a concrete answer for these questions, but but from from these simple techniques, it's it's then useful just to say if there are any patterns of the symbology, and which might implies us to think about what functions, what simpler functions that might appear. Okay, for example, let's go back to this factorization uh, graph. And and for, first of all, the full set of simple alphabets as you, oh, is it five? Oh, oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> because there, there is zero in the uh, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so, so the full set of simple alphabets are just cosmological correlators uh, for, for any tubes with plus or minus, on the energies uh, going through each edge. And similarly, we have these uh, compatibility relations of different types of tubes. For example, when, when the two uh, tubes are intersecting, then it's forbidden, then, then they are not allowed to appear in one uh, symbol. And also if, uh, if the uh, two tubes G and H are separated or, or for example, G and H are included in each other, then they are they they can appear in some specific uh, ways, and so this is just some observation that we have found, and we we hope that these these observations these these patterns can motivate us to get the the simpler uh, final functions, and also it's since time is limited just sketch here. Also, it's interesting to study the uh, analytic structures of these uh, cosmological correlators by coactions. And, and the, the coaction can come using the technique on twisted cohomology. Say we have for, for this integral, we can have a family of contours and uh, a family of contours and differential forms that corresponds to the uh, differential of these functions as well as the discontinuities. And consider these uh, two bases as 
some complete basis, then the, the question on this uh, physical integral just corresponds to inserting this uh, basis into the into this pairing. And so here is the basis that we have found for two side functions. And we also have a conjecture on what the at any inside tree level diagram, the basis for these inside tree level diagram should should, should be like, but we, we still have to think about how, how, how to prove it from probably physical monology or other methods. Okay, so yeah, just the conclusion say we, we obtain a similar, uh, a simple recurve relational symbols for these tree level and loop integrand of cosmology correlators from first entry. And then these uh, recursion relations are very simple because the lower point stuff can only, can, can be represented by either the lower point correlators or the lower point integrals on the flat space uh, amplitude. So yeah, thank you. Well, in, in loop amplitude, there is because these for tree, no, it's always multiple polylogs. And, and 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 the entries are always just linear stuff, even without any square roots. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the region is just say that the region where these Jacobians are, are positive and, yeah. and just direct. We don't know, higher as, as, as high as possible order, yeah. Uh, well, using differential equations, because the derivative on each, say, last entries of the, on, on each uh, singularity, uh, sorry, the derivative of these correlators corresponds to some more types of functions. So we have to evaluate, just say, more types of things. Yeah, and, but from, from first entry, we only need to consider two types of functions. In general, from differential equation, there are uh, four to n minus one, numbers of bases, so yeah, it's quite. Uh, that also has, that also has, also has. Yes, I, 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 I think so. Yeah, I have, I haven't tried, but, 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 because, yeah, because all the factors are rational and. 